Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Deck, and today we're going to talk about some of these uh, latest Windows updates and how they, <sighs> Microsoft could F up a wet dream. Their software is so buggy that it makes a wasp nest look bug free. So we're going to get to that in just a second, right after we go through the intro and a short ad for TubeBuddy have to do that. Uh, we do have 390 subscribers now, and that's very cool. Keep it up, folks. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's do the intro right now. Hi, folks. Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com, as you will see coming up on the screen right now. TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. If you have a free version, uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and, uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool uh, as far as prices go. The price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you, uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer, and I'm only paying $4.50 a month. So, check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen, and at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high-end cheap tech. And now let's get back to that video we were doing. Uh, yeah, we have to run the tube buddy ads until we get enough subscribers. You know, if y'all keep liking and sharing and telling people about the site, it will help a lot. But today we're just going to talk about Windows 10 and their horrible track record with updates. It's just horrible. So back in November, I got an update, and I still have a cold. Sorry, folks. And, uh... I get this update, and, you know, it installed, and the next time I reboot, it comes up with this picture coming up. I had to snap that using the Mi A2 camera, an excellent camera, but it's, you know, you can't do a screenshot of your PC when... You are not into a point where any of your keyboards will work or you can't hit your snipping tool. None of that's working yet. So, as you can see, I got this Windows to go crap up there. And I find that to be absolute. What the hell? When did I ask for Windows to go to run? So, if anyone knows how to turn this particular thing and get it out of startup, let me know because it's horseshit. It screws up my PC. I can't get rid of it. And then I noticed my Artec keyboard, you know, Bluetooth. It would, I could hook it up and it would say device is connected to one of them being the. <coughs> One single three, <coughs> and the other being the Bluetooth. And then after a while, we just disconnect from it. Sometimes I could turn Wi Fi on and off or Bluetooth. Sometimes I could turn the Arctic back on and off. But in most cases, I ended up having to remove the Arctic. It just comes up as USB keyboard 3.0. And then re-add it, and repair it, and reconnect to it. And that worked for a while. Sometimes all night, sometimes not. And so I got in the habit of plugging in my, I have a USB keyboard, because when you're logging in, you can't get it into your keyboard. kind of sucks. So, uh, as long as that stays plugged in, everything works fine. So I got a, an update, and it seemed to get better. But once again, I got that USB keyboard coming in. Also, I'm not using that. It's laying down on a shelf. 
below here. I'll just pull it out when I absolutely need it. So, I need to know what's going on. Oh, and then they did another update that seemed to fix more problems. But now, if I hit sleep, it'll shut down to sleep and then reboot. Shut down to sleep, reboot, no matter how many times they ask it. So I'll go, oh, I'll screw you. Just shut it down all the way. Wrong answer. It just reboots. The only, and the only way for me to reboot it or shut it down proper is just to unplug the SOB, plug it back in, and then it's off. I should not have to do that. That is a result of the Windows 10 updates. It is not a problem with the PC. I've checked the temperatures, the heat. There's no glitches. There's no errors. There's nothing, and there's nothing weird running in Task Manager. So, that's all I'm going to complain about today. I mean, I worked for Underwriters Labs for 20 years, and we did a lot of testing. And by God, if we tested stuff like Microsoft does, I worked in the radio and TV lab, and our job was to make sure you didn't end up with any shock hazards, fire hazards, you know, things like that. And uh, safety testing, not software testing. My last, like, eight years, I worked as an IT guy, but I was still pretty good. I'd walk into the lab and go, anyone got a problem? they go, oh, come over here. i go, oh, you just need to check that circuit. How do you know that? I just do. Uh, and uh, we didn't screw around. Something failed once, once, just once. There was no, oh, let's try it five times. No, there's no best out of three or best out of five here. One failure, product fails, fix it. And uh, Microsoft obviously doesn't adhere to those principles of high quality control. It's like, just get it out there. Just get it out there. Yeah, let's do, how much testing did we do? Well, at least five minutes, two programmers. Two programmers who, as far as they're concerned, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread because programmers are all ass hats and they all think whatever they've done is the finest thing ever in the history of man. And uh, usually you end up with garbage from programmers on their first try and their second, usually the fourth, fifth, and sixth. But Microsoft needs to absolutely cease and desist in putting out updates until they've sent it out to people who are willing to test it, real people, on various platforms. You know, I have an old Celeron processor. Send it out to somebody with an i7. Send it out to, yeah with two graphics cards, whatever it takes, and then figure out why it's doing what it's doing. So if anyone else is having these problems, I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. And as usual, if you found this information informative, helpful, or if you're experiencing the same problem, if I find a cure, I will put it in the description below which, by the way, will have links to uh, uh, all the equipment we use, which isn't very fancy. We have the Impulse Selfie Stick with the fill light going. We have the Version Tech uh, headphones, which I'm not even sure if you can still get these. Uh, we also have the Mi A2, which you can still get, and it's still an excellent phone for the price. And it has a full 1080 IPS display. The Mi A3, of course, only has a 720 display, but it does have extra cameras. And, and it's AMOLED. And I've done a post on that, AMOLED versus IPS. In fact, I did a post on the Redmi Note 8, which is basically the same phone, except with 
an IPS 1080p display versus the Mi A3. And you know, one of my conclusions was, well, if you're not willing to do all the stuff it takes to get from getting screen burn in on an AMOLED, don't buy the Mi A3, get the Redmi. If you can follow a few simple instructions, get the ammo. You won't notice the 720. And that's all I got for today. So, you know, as usual, like, share, subscribe, pass this on to everyone, and leave comments. We want feedback. Thanks a lot, folks. I might have done talked a little too much, but... It all had to be said. Have a great day.